Hi everybody, it's Miss Bailey. I'm the Youth Services Outreach Specialist here at Paul Sawyer Public Library, and I wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and I am going to walk you through a fun craft that you can actually use on Thanksgiving. So today we are going to be making Thanksgiving placemats. This is a super easy and super fun craft to do with your family or on your own. And all you're gonna need is some construction paper. I just picked some fall colors. You don't have to use these colors. You can use your favorite colors or whatever colors you want to use. I chose yellow, red, orange, and brown. So all you're gonna need is a brown piece of construction paper. And then you're gonna need some multicolored strips of construction paper. I cut these out to be about one inch. They're not perfect. So as long as you make them thick enough so that they can be seen, that is great. So our first step is we're gonna take our big piece of construction paper and we're gonna fold it in half like a hot dog. And try to make it as straight as possible. So I just folded it in half. Next, I'm gonna take scissors and I'm gonna cut, not all the way up to the top, but almost up to the top. So I am going to cut about every inch and leave just a little bit of room. You don't wanna cut it all the way off and continue doing that. Mine are getting a little crooked. That's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as you're having fun while you are doing it. Okay, I'm gonna finish off with that one. So when you open it, you're gonna have a lot of different slits for you to weave your different color pieces of construction paper to. So the next step is I'm going to grab my different color pieces of construction paper. Let's start with orange. And we're going to weave. So weaving means you're going over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under until you reach the end. So I'm gonna go over this first slit, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And then you have your first weave on your placemat. Look how cool that looks. Okay, next let's use red. Now we're gonna do the opposite. So. For my first weave, I went over on my first strip. This time, I'm going to go under and then over. It makes a checkerboard-like pattern. It's a little difficult to get the hang of, but once you get it, you will be on a roll. So it, this red piece, this red strip, is opposite of the previous orange strip. So now I have orange and red. To secure it, you can tape it. I didn't tape it, but if you feel more comfortable securing it with tape, you can do that. Now I'm going to use yellow and make a pattern. So next I'll do orange, then red, then yellow again. What? Do you think I'm gonna start with over or under? Our red one was under. So that's right, we're gonna go over. Over, under, over, under. And if you're having trouble, you might ask your grown up for a little bit of help. And now I have my first three pieces on my placemat. We've got orange, red, 
yellow. Next, I'm gonna go back with orange. Okay, I am on my last weave. I'm almost finished with this yellow piece. I just need to go under and lastly over. And look at that, it turned out so pretty. So you can make some for your family or your friends and they can use it for their Thanksgiving placemat. Make sure you push up your pieces of construction paper so it's nice and tight. If you want to, you can use contact paper on the front and the back, just making sure it won't get messy and that you can use it for years and years to come. So I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.